Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! I have the coin switched ahead of time, remember? I'm using the Jigglypuff coin, so no need to change. And something I'm actually not going to change is something that I used before. The Mewtwo deck! Why am I going to use it again here? Because it only really got one part and it didn't really show its teeth. It's just based on the jaws that it had, so it wasn't really the best example of how the Mewtwo deck works, was it? So let's go ahead and try it again versus the Big Thunder deck and potentially the next opponent, depending on how quickly things go here. So we shuffle and we go. He'll be shaking before my Big Thunder deck, oh I will. But it'll be for laughter, not, <laughs> not fear. Because <laughs> remember, he's got the legendary Zapdos, so... The idea is to blast my Pokémon with its randomized attacks, or hope that he blasts my Pokémon with its randomized attacks, and, uh... He, it's not gonna work! <laughs> it's just, it's just not, it doesn't work most of the time. <laughs> um... I wonder who I should plop out first here. Probably just the Mewtwo, because I could computer search for Professor Oak. Discard the energy cards and the like, possibly too, and yeah, probably. Because remember, the Ghastly is there for the recycling of stuff, so. I mean, I got another Mewtwo anyway, and it's not like the Zapdos are that threatening for obvious reasons. Oh, you're leading with it? That's your only one? Oh man, you can't even use Peel of Thunder then! Oh, man! <laughs> okay, so... Uh, we're gonna go... Computer search, discard the potion, and... I guess it doesn't really matter. <laughs> go for Professor Oak. And yeah, that idea was to knock away that energy card was to... Uh, attach it to Mewtwo, basically, uh, a little bit later on. Uh, actually, I don't even have to worry about two being in the discard pile. It can just be one, and then I just attach another on the next turn. Uh, so yeah, energy absorption. Put the potion energy on Mewtwo, and then the turn. So turn two Cyburn is a coming. <laughs> He'll probably get a basic Pokemon by then. No, you know, by the time I'm able to knock out the Zapdos, but who knows, maybe not. Let's put that on there. And I probably should have used Bill, actually. Just to make sure I got everything that I wanted to do for the turn, but... Uh, maybe I'll hold on to that, because I got a bunch of Mewtwo already. And Cyburn! And if he doesn't have uh, any sort of basic Pokémon... Okay, Pokémon Trader. I was going to say, if he doesn't have a basic Pokémon... Oh, he, he had Ditto and he didn't play it? Okay. Uh, uh, what, are you, what are you trying to do here? <laughs> I don't know, but it's not working. Um, I guess I should get the other Mewtwo powered up here. I'm not going to use plus power because it's still, uh, still not going to knock it out, so. I could have maybe just computer search, but I'm just trying to give him a little bit of a chance here. Say, so let's feel Peel of Thunder. I hit the Ghastly, that was probably the best pick. And he's going to recycle Zapdos, put the other Zapdos in play. Pro no, I guess not. <laughs> Alright. Got the plus power. Uh... I guess I could do a Cyburn and then a double plus power Cyburn, like I said I was gonna do. Uh, I, I, I suppose. <laughs> I could have did that last turn, but. I mean, it just doesn't look like his deck is working all that well compared to mine. But yeah, this is the teeth of the Mewtwo deck that I was talking about here, because it's just. It's very, very quick in its beatdowniness, basically. So then we Cyburn. <laughs> Wipe out Zapdos, 60 damage, call it a game, so... <laughs> Sorry, Frank, maybe I should give you another shot at that, I just... I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't think it's gonna make much of a difference, because this is the legendary Zapdos we're talking about here, but... <laughs> uh, speaking of Zapdos, I got the fossil Zapdos with the Thunderstorm dealio. And I guess I'll swap. Too far, too far, too far. <laughs> Alright, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I'm giving you two chances here! So <laughs> Alrighty. 
Here we go. Um. Hmm. Uh. Let's actually leave with the Mewtwo again. Mr. Mime. Ghastly. I'm just gonna aim for an energy card with the bill. Then computer search for Professor Oak or something like that. And yeah, you, you know the idea. <laughs> it's the idea of getting the Mewtwo going as quickly as possible. It comes the Peel of Thunder. Uh, maybe not. Maybe he only uses that on like certain circumstances. Like, whenever it's going to be the most surprise, so to speak. I'm going to put that on there, because Mewtwo is the key. Plus power. Wow, jeez. Uh, energy removal in that, anyway. Hmm. What's in the hand you got there? Uh, a Master Ball. Potion isn't that big of a deal. Yeah, I don't really have much of a choice here. Uh, I think I'll discard energy removal plus power for a Psychic. Put that Psychic on the Mewtwo, then Professor Rook. I'm trying to get one more energy card in the discard pile somehow, basically. Uh, no computer search, so I guess that's not happening. Uh, hmm. I guess Mew might come in handy. Angus Gun 2, and... Let's see, nothing. Done. <laughs> Slight brick! That's okay. Not that big of a deal or anything like that. You don't always expect to get a turn 2 Cyburn or anything like that, but it could come in handy. Alas, 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 I'm done. <laughs> so it'll be turn 3, I guess, unless energy removal comes into play or something like that. Oh, computer search. I could use that a turn ago, but... <laughs> um, could use that for double colorless, but for now I'm just gonna Cyburn. So yeah, it's looking like he's just holding on to the Zap dolls to use them whenever they serve him best or something like that. Like, maybe he puts them in play when he wants to scoop something up. And yeah, that's does, that doesn't change the turn order of anything, and that's why I left it as is. And Cyburn. See, it's still three Cyburns to knock out the Zapdos, so whatever. You can attack with that Zapdos if you'd like, I I suppose. You love Thunder on what? On what? Oh, I hit one of mine, I see, I see. He's gonna have a lot more Pokemon than he does. <laughs> um, so yeah, he did the retreat, so that Zapdos is out of energy again. And... Guess get another Mewtwo powered up, I suppose. Cyber away. <laughs> See, that's the, the the trick of the Mewtwo deck is that you can usually just continually Cyburn at a rapid pace. If not, you use Kangaskhan to uh, as backup. Like if the opponent has something that's Psychic Resistance, because that's still gonna do 40 damage with just two turns. You know, two double colorless energy cards. Hey, Super Potion. That does not help you whatsoever! <laughs> uh, oh, I could actually computer search another plus power like I could before. So yeah, this deck is a lot more aggressive than I made it seem in that other part, because of how awkward it just ended up being, so... Now now you're kind of seeing how things are rolling out, so... <laughs> Even turn 3 Cyburn repeatedly is pretty threatening, but I, I made me for turn 2 more than anything. Uh, you better get something for your bench. Why haven't you played Chansey to resist- <laughs> to resist my Mewtwo? Do you really want that Peel of Thunder that badly? I guess you do. <laughs> I just- I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's, it's not really helping him. Uh, yeah, I'll just attack. I'll save the potion energy, should I need it. Because remember, if energy removal hits Mewtwo, it'll- I could just put the potion energy on it because it's one colorless of two psychic. And pulled out the ditto. You go ahead and have a good time with that. And I'll, you know, I, again, I could just plus power next turn and outright win. <laughs> if he doesn't play a basic Pokemon. But seriously, why isn't he just playing the Chansey? It take me tw uh, uh, 60 attacks. No, wait, wait, no, no. Is the re is this 120? No, why do I keep saying so? 12 attacks <laughs> to do 120 damage. Oh, Defender, okay, that does that does throw off my plus power a little bit. Um... Wait, uh... I could, no, wait, actually, that, that doesn't. 
I mean, it does stop me for this turn, but... Um... Would I, would I be able to abuse the AI by... If I were to say, not attack this turn, and then computer search into another plus power? Let's find out, because he's pretty easy to beat. So, is it put that on Zapdos? Yeah, because we know he's got another basic Pokémon in his hand. So I don't understand what his strategy is. I, maybe it's to keep as few basic Pokémon out on his side of the field as possible, so that when he plays another Zapdos, it hits my critters with the Peel of Thunder, or something like that? Maybe? Because, you know, it has a higher chance of hitting my side then? Possibly? But... The chances are so much higher in just in general, because I have so many more than he has in general, and... Yeah! Maybe he's not the best example to show this deck with, huh? <laughs> so yeah, I, I could've won, like, eight turns ago. Another Scyther... Not too bad. Full heal can also be handy. Alright. Darkness is gonna befall us, maybe. Power of Darkness deck with Masquerade. Sit at the dueling table. My Power of Darkness deck. Well, let's see what we can do. <laughs> I mean, he does have Psychic Pokémon of his own that I can double damage with mine, so... Mr. Mime, that could put a damper on things, because he might actually end up not being able to hit the Mr. Mime at all, because of the... Uh, Kangaskhan can, but it's going to take him a while. Uh, that's water, that's colorless. Okay, he can hit, he can definitely hit the Mr. Mime. Um... Should probably go for a Kangaskhan. Just in general. I already got a Mewtwo in play, so. What I could do is. Wait, wait, what am I what am I holding on to Rocket Sneak Attack for? Boss's way, get rid of that. <laughs> I was I was just thinking about my side, but what about disrupting the opponent's side? Um yeah, that's computer search into a Kangaskhan. We'll discard the energy retrieval. We probably won't need that. And, uh... I suppose... The psychic energy... Oops. There we go... <laughs> there. Whoop, whoop. There we go. I did not want to misclick build there. And Kangaskhan. Put that in play. You know what? Maybe I should put the other Mewtwo in play. Couldn't hurt, I guess. There's a lot, of, a lot more bench room anyway. And... alright, so we got another double colorless, and I do believe Mr. Mime is a one retreat, yep. So, we should be pretty good in terms of our acceleration of things, so let's call it a turn. Like, can chances are Kangaskhan won't be able to do any damage to uh, Mr. Mime, but I can't do any damage to it either, so it's just more of a stalemate with him at a slight advantage if he gets one, one heads and three tails, so... Uh, I'm gonna energy removal that. I'm gonna put this on Mr. Mime to throw him off, to make him think that I'm gonna try put powering up Mr. Mime, but the idea is really the uh, a switch into my Kangaskhan. And you go ahead and fetch. Sure, sure, sure. Those masks in the background sure are happy. Alright, Kangaskhan, retreat. And... I should probably put out Mew. Maybe the Lickitung 2, uh, hold on to this, and Combat Punch! One, two, oh. Oh. <laughs> Alright, that's fine, that's the average. It was just looking good, and I got all excited. But alas, alas, this is why you should not play the luck-based game. <laughs> If <laughs> you can help it, it's like it just teases you, makes you think you're gonna do a lot of get a lot of good there, and then it doesn't. It doesn't. Um, I probably should hold on to the ener super energy removal and just like just hold on to things. I don't want to Professor Oak it away, basically. Oh man, 
Well, <laughs> well, maybe I'll get two heads on the next run. And Bill, you do that. You see what you do. Ooh, Bill's teleporter. I could net him a bunch, or a minus one. <laughs> That's the risk of Bill's teleporter. But you, when you play that card, you basically want to have all the copies you can. You can so that chances are two out of three will actually work. I mean, excuse me, two out of four will actually work. You know, max copies. Um, yeah, I don't really see any need to energy removal anything right now. Dratini is not really a big threat in on itself, and yeah, that's uh, that's another three tails for me. <laughs> Astonishing. Yeah, yeah, even if the Dark Dragonair pops out there, it's not that big of a deal. We'll see. Uh, yeah, I might just super energy removal it now just to mess with him. Sure, that recycle energy will go back to his hand, but that's gonna throw him back and turn count. This is a glitchy text again. Um, so yeah, I think I will scar that, wipe that out, and have that back to your hand. Um, I, I'm thinking of computer searching for, uh, um, another double colorless? Possibly? But I don't know, I just... I think we're in decent shape. <laughs> now watch, I get all the heads in the world, and I don't... Sure. <laughs> I don't need them. All the heads. 60. And energy removal. But that dark gold lock will take quite a bit to power up. Well, two turns more to power up. Ooh, seek attack. Let's see what he's got. And nothing that I can discard, but it's good to know that like, Dark Clef Fable is in there. Uh, yeah, Dark Dark Dragonair is just not really much of an attacker in on itself. This is, this is, yeah, it's it's gonna do 20 damage for three energy 50% of the time. So that's why I'm not generally too worried about it. I don't remember if he uses Dark Dragonite though, which could be more of a powerful hitter. That's why I energy removed it, but it's also more to just throw him off. But anyway, I got to memorize and. Um, couldn't discard anything, but anyway, let's see here. I wonder if I should do this just in case he's got an energy to give it to Dark Gold Lock, because I probably won't get three heads off this. M the chances are not in my favor, based on how things roll, so... Okay, <laughs> that's respectable. <laughs> Two energy for 40. You know, double color this energy. Recycle energy, third eye, sure, go ahead. That was probably the better choice, because that Dark Gold Duck is uh, on its way out. Um, so yeah, this is one of those examples where I'm, a, I'm more attacking with Kangaskhan than Mewtwo, because the psychic resistances of colorless Pokémon and the like, so... Just one of those sorts of things where you gotta have this sort of backup, and... It's a pretty good example of this deck as a result. Um... Yeah, Common Punch. <laughs> Let's just knock it out. I was gonna say, chances are, one of those should be heads. I mean, one out of four has gotta be heads! <laughs> and another Mewtwo. Don't really need it per se, but I could always computer search it. You know, computer search it away. Uh, plus power. I could try and, try and uh, knock out the Dark Dragon Arrow with two plus power. That might really throw him off. Um. Let's go for it, just, just for the heck of it. And Comet Punch, you just need two heads now. I just need two heads, set three. Oh no. Oh no. Thank you. <laughs> Alright. Don't do his last Pokemon. He might be able to just wrap me infinitely though, with this Dratini, but we shall see. Because this, chances are I'll be able to get two heads on the Dratini when I'm actually able to attack, so I'm not really too concerned about that. Uh, obviously, you know, one plus power is kind of moot, because it's going to do 30 if I get one tails anyway, so... I need the other plus power. Uh, I could computer search for that, of course, but let's just draw through our deck a little bit here. Uh, I actually should start getting something else going, just in case. I mean, I was starting with that Mewtwo, but then I discarded it with the Super Energy removal. 
And, oh, that could be game over. <laughs> Unless the uh, other plus power is in my prize cards. But we will find out. I'm gonna discard the Mewtwo, and I guess a Mr. Fuji. I don't think I'm gonna actually need that. If I, have, if I get another plus... Yep, there it is. I was gonna say, if I get the other plus power, if it's in the deck, I basically win. Because chances are I'm not gonna get four tails. I mean, I could! You've, you've absolutely seen me do that before. <laughs> but okay, we need to eat one head. Thank you. <laughs> so yeah, this is a pretty aggressive deck that I built. It just didn't show its teeth on the first Ghostmaster rebattle here. So that's why I figured another part would be would be pretty fitting to a booster pack for winning. <laughs> would be pretty fitting to actually show how it works, and that that I think was a pretty good example of. This deck's power, I guess you could call it. <laughs> I don't, I'm not sure if it's as quick as Wigglytuff, though, but it's it's definitely got the power to do things, that's for sure. <laughs> Farewell. And with that, I end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I use another coin. Yep, I remember the switch. <laughs>